Are you ready for Arby Smoke Mountain? I am starving. We got Arby's limited time only Smoke Mountain, and we also got the Smokehouse Beef Short Rib Loaded Curly Fries. There they are. That's what they're supposed to look like. And then we can take a look at them for reals. A little dark because it's the first time it's raining in Michigan in over a month, so we needed it. Whew. Here we go. Once again, we are reviewing Smoke Mountain, baby! That sounds like the place where I want to live and eventually die. Smoke Mountain. That was my prop. Smoky Mountain. Woo! Yikes. That is your smokehouse. Beef short rib loaded curly fries. And that is a heavy bugger. See how much that costs. That is $4 for the beef rib loaded curly fries. What's the matter, bud? That's pretty priced because that is hefty. All right, and this, I didn't want to get the short rib sandwich specifically because I was getting the short rib fries. This probably has short rib on it. But this is the Smoke Mountain. I've heard of the famous Arby's Meat Mountain. I could never do that, but this is Arby's Smoke Mountain. Wow. Should we crack her and take a look inside? Ooh, it's not going to be easy. Let's see. Let's crack her. Okay, your Texas toast. Look at that. Oh, God. Heartburn City. It's the name of the game. Heartburn City. All right. All right. I haven't eaten all day. I'm hungry, but barbecue freaks me out, but I'm going to do it anyway. Here we go with the Smokehouse Beef Short Rib Loaded Curly Fries. Fancy. Oh, boy. I'm going to put that bitch in my mouth. There's a lot going on in that bite. Onion, cheese, potato, short rib, barbecue sauce. Tastes like one of Ma's casseroles. That's pretty good. There's a lot going on. Hmm. I like it. Curly fries. Well, that's four dollars. We get a big old batch. I'm on the team. I would say those are pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. All right, let's try this sandwich. I don't know if anybody's heard this yet. It kind of like broke. My dogs went crazy. The story kind of broke 2001, September 10th. So it kind of got buried after the terrorist attacks. But did you guys know that one person for basically 10 years took every major... McDonald's Monopoly Prize. All the Vipers, Corvettes, million dollars, $200,000, $50,000. Gave them to friends and family. Also set up like a crime rim. Crime rim? A crime ring with like a gangster. And they were doling them out and setting up fake apartments. Because all the places, they all lived in the same area. So they couldn't all keep winning. So they'd set up fake apartment complexes all over America. And, he st and Amer McDonald's never caught him. For 10 years, a decade, this guy's taken all the best prizes. We're all... I was really into McDonald's, the Monopoly. I, they owe me a million dollars. He took all the prizes for 10 years. And no one caught on until finally one of the gangsters who wanted revenge against him called the FBI and told on him. Nobody knew that one guy for 10 years kept all the major prizes at McDonald's Monopoly. What a scammeroo. It's a long story. It's unvice. Or I don't know who wrote the story. I think it's unvice. Who knows? It's a long story, though. Smoke Mountain, place I eventually plan to move to. Hmm. It's smoky. Looks like it's got, I think this is like the trend of all new sandwiches now. 
onion spinners or whatever they call them. Okay, last step on it. Tastes like a really good ham sandwich. Here we go. Smoke Mountain, limited time. 13 hour smoked brisket, pulled smoked beef short rib, smoked ham, melted cheddar cheese, crispy onions, and smoky barbecue sauce. All between two toasty pieces of Texas toast. Toasty pieces of toast. Good description. And that is the Smoke Mountain. I don't see any cheese on it though. It's tough. They they offer these overly complicated sandwiches with 20 ingredients on them and then they Yeah, there's no cheese on this. And then they miss one or two of the ingredients. That is weird and smooth. Now you would expect toast to be kind of grainy. It's smooth, like a 400 thread count sheet. Every time I hold it over there, I spill some. Well, I'm going to say that the um, short rib curly fries, is that what are? Short rib loaded curly fries are better. A lot of, a lot of flavor blowing out of these. But there's cheese on these, and they forgot the cheese on that. And I like the cheese on. I like the cheese on my sandwich. Cheese pull. Cheese pull city is the name of the game. Wow, these are actually delicious. They're loaded with short ribs. Look at that. I keep spilling it. Can you see it? It's loaded with meat. These are tasty. This is like a really good ham sandwich, which isn't that big of a deal. Did forget the cheese, but who needs it? I'm going to go low on the sandwich. It's good, but it's not great. I'm going to give it a 6. These I'm giving a 9.5 because I would totally go back for these. Thanks, my 22 subscribers. Thanks to the four people that are going to watch this. This is the Arby's Short Rib Curly Fries and the Smoke Mountain. Both pretty good. Hi, bud.